Hello, it's Cliff here from Down Under, and this video I'm going to talk about the Hallmark Impact Tolerant Touch Probe, the ITTP, that's now available with a 12mm shank. Traditionally, they're always available only with a TTS shank, uh, the three quarter inch shank, because the long travel retraction mechanism was housed within that shank and it really limited it to that. I've finally been able to come up with a design that houses the retract mechanism within a 12mm shank. So this opens it right up for different spindle types. It makes it a lot more straightforward to come up with adapters. For example, a 12mm adapter with a BT30 taper, BT40 taper, or it can go directly into an router spindle, an ER20 uh, collet spindle, that type of thing. For example, this BT30 to 12mm shank, some suppliers call them tool holders, others call them adapters or arbors. I'll put a link in the description below anyway. If you're not familiar with the ITTP, the Hallmark ITTP, it's Impact Tolerant Touch Pro because it has a lot of retraction. Traditional uh, touch probes have a fragile self-sacrificing style of stem that breaks in the event of a crash in order to protect the delicate internals of the probe. But the Hallmark ITTP has a lot of retraction, over 17 millimeters of retraction in the Z and a lot of retraction in the X and Y. I've got videos showing that if you're interested in that feature. The big advantage is that because it has retraction rather than a self-sacrificing stem. You can make the stem much stronger and more rigid and that allows you to make a more accurate probe. If it's stiffer and stronger, then you have less flex of the stylus assembly and then you have less pre-travel and pre-travel variation. That allows it to be a more accurate probe before you have to try and compensate for any little errors. It's more accurate in the first place. It's also got electrical fluid gel on the contacts. They're submerged in this electrical fluid to give good long-term reliability. So the Hallmark ITTP has those three features, impact tolerance, accuracy, and long-term reliability. But it's only been available in the three quarter inch TTS shank. So the ITTP is now available with this 12 millimeter shank, which makes it a lot easier to suit different spindle types. For example, this adapter to BT30, these are readily available. I'll put a link in the description below where you can purchase these for a reasonable price. Um, the traditional ITTP with the TTS shank had a full over 17 millimeters of Z retraction, just over 17 millimeters, and a huge amount of X and Y. This new 12 millimeter shank is almost as much. It's over 16 millimeters of Z retraction and the same amount of X and Y. You're probably aware that the probe is available either in the standard version with an attached cable or available with a fully hard anodized blue body and a unpluggable cable. We're calling this the ITTP Pro, and the standard <clears throat> is just called the standard. Um, there's no difference to the internals. It's just whether you want the convenience of a detachable cable and the scuff resistance of a hard anodized body. So having these different versions of the ITTP allows me to consider different applications, different attachments. For example, it can be used in a manual mill, not in a CNC mill at all. And with this prototype I'm developing, it's a self-contained battery powered attachment. It just plugs in and shows you the trip position. So now we can use it as a high precision edge finder, which can be dialed in really concentric and uh, when the light goes out, we can enter zero on the DRO and index across to the other side and find the center of a hole in the edge of a plate. And it has really good features that an ordinary edge finder doesn't have. We can reach into deep slots and cavities and so on. So there may be applications 
that for new products and attachments like this edge finder attachment that will um, turn up over time so let me know in the comments below if you're interested in something like this or you can think of an application for it